no doubt one of the things which gives our city the culture we know and love are our entertainment venues, and they are struggling. Shut down since March with no solid way to make income, but one is getting a small lifeline. The Black Cat in D.C., which you might have been to or heard about, shoe company Vans has launched an initiative called Foot the Bill and is teaming up with venues around the country to make and sell special shoes and give the venues the profits. Earlier, I was able to speak to the vice president of Black Cat, Catherine Ferrando. Good morning, Catherine. Thank you uh, so much for joining us to talk about this. This is, a, this is pretty interesting to me, this relationship that's been established now between Black Cat and Vans, the shoe company. Uh, can you tell me how this came to be? Sure. Um, Vans, it seems like, has been doing this program since last spring, um, Foot the Bill, and they just sort of called us out of the blue. I happened to be there actually working on PPP loan forgiveness documents because nobody's usually at Black Cat right now. Um, and so I picked up the phone and we set it up and it got going pretty quickly. They showed us how to design a shoe and away we went. So the, we're, we're showing pictures of the shoe. It, it is very sharp. Okay. So what, what is the, the end game here? Uh, uh, Vans is uh, creating, uh, 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 is it 500 pairs of shoes? Is that right? That's right. Yeah. And it's for a limited time only for the, for three or four weeks, they'll be on sale and we can sell up to three, uh, up to 500 pairs of shoes. And, uh, and Vans is giving us the whole net proceeds, which is incredibly generous of them. We're really uh, grateful for That's the opportunity. Fantastic. And Vans is a really cool company. It seems like a great fit for Black Cat. A lot of our staff and uh, customers are really excited about it. And, and you know, the fact that they reached out to you, uh, that's pretty cool that they are identifying businesses uh, uh, that need the help and could use the help in the midst of the pandemic. So tell me how you guys will benefit from this. Obviously the funds are important, but what happens with those funds? Um, well, I think we're, we're just giving those to use them however we need to to survive right now, which is a great help because we haven't had any actual income since last March. Mm. Let's talk about that, uh, uh, how tough it has been. Um, I, I imagine you've had to lay off, let go staff and that type of thing. Is that what you've been going through? Yeah, we have. We were able to um, get a, a PPP loan at one point in the fall to pay our staff for part of the time, but they're all back on unemployment now. Um, so it's it's been really hard. We had a, a fundraiser in the spring to help them, our staff out as well. But um, yeah, with, with no income coming in, uh, it's it's been hard for everybody. For 2021, obviously uh, the vaccine rollout has begun. Uh, not as many people as we would have liked at this point have been vaccinated, but um, you know, there's been talk that by late summer, early fall, uh, most Americans who want a vaccine will be able to have one. What is your time frame? What are you looking at in terms of being able to start doing concerts again and having people actually to the venue? Well, we are excited to start up again as soon as it's safe to do it. So, uh, you know, hopefully if the, the faster the vaccine rolls out, the faster we'll be able to get bands back up on the stage again. All right. And for the shoe, for people who do want to help out by buying one of those cool shoes, uh, how do they do that? Do they do that through Black Cat? Do they do it through Vans? Either way, they can go to our website, blackcatdc.com, or they can go to Vans Put the Bill, um, and there's a link on, on both sites to for the shoe. And I mean, that's the only way we've been making money so far this year is we've been, we have a merch store and we have uh, periodically we do live streaming shows. So this money will hopefully also let us do um, a few more live stream shows. A lot of folks love Black Cat, so I'm sure uh, they will be happy to support you guys with the shoe and whatever else they can do. Best of luck. Hopefully it works out. And uh, when you start booking bands again, let us know. We'll, uh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we will. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate it. Mm, much love to our music and comedy venues of blackcatdc.com to take a look at that shoe. Here's a fun fact for you. The Black Cat was co-founded by a Springfield, Virginia native uh, named Dave Grohl. He's a musician. Uh, you might have heard of him. <laughs> yeah, I think I heard of him before. Yeah. Yeah, a little success. <laughs> yeah, a little success. He's the front man for the Foo Fighters, one of the biggest rock stars out there.